U kif għatti l-komisasar nitkellmu dwar l-squash, it-tim id-disciplina il-li propesa jinkunu għedinna rawa fil-lob tal-pajiz izzar għal-Europa fl-aħħar ta' Mejju f-Malta. Bipjaċir nil-għal il-direttur tekniku Ivan Balzan, kifu koll fiħdan l-association tal-squash, kifu koll l-Nile Angerer li uwa il-coach ta' tim nazjonali Malti tal-squash. L-awel darba jisa jikun iħat mux bis emmek pħala coach, pero jissa jikun il-lisa jikun għedinna raħu koll jikompeti. Pero jissa forsi nitkellmu, forsi jajdu naġa ħaġax, għalissa kollox, sike, ta' tennis għalu naħaf naħfarit, pero nil għal il-Ivan, Ivan, inti għapparti l-illum iħad direttur tekniku, pero inti doqt dawn il-lob, għalix int kont atleta u kompetejt. Forsi l-kontra mit-tennis, l-squash mux kull edizjoni naraw hemmek. U din, jek kamil til-kalkoli ta' jep, seri kunu il-raba darba l-squash seri kunu għedi min-1985, kamilom jisiru dawn il-lob. Nsellim lek. Grazzi tal-estadina. Aħed, għanu ma l-raba darba l-squash għedi fil-games. Raġuni għili squash u mix parti mill-8 disciplines li kunu għaddejn kull ma taħsur l-lob. Iċ kantri għanda dritt li taħzi zot sport soħrajn. U Malta kifaw li ti taħzi entri is ta' taħzi entri għazlet l-squash biex jikun parti mill-kontinġent. Ivan, l-squash dejjem ġabu rizultati taħjibi. Għabu 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 rizultati Zew erba medaljek minisera zbaħ. No, no, this is time, 2011, yes. 2011. For four medals. Four medals, for gold medals. For gold medals, yes. Ija, forsi, tikom, forsi, shiftit ta, kolkunċin għara ktar pressjoni għabba l-medalji? Ehe, pressjoni kun jendejjem, għax l-aspettativa jadejjem li l-squash delivers good medals in the games. Biss, sentendi, l-pajzi l-ohrajn, tal-mu min-2011, u they're coming here to win medals as well. Għifirjana, d-darba ħekun għam sit, six disciplines, għax sen introdu ġu għal-lowel darba, għam d-doubles, d-dallop. D-doubles, għifirjana, ħekun għam s-singles, l-individual? So, you've got the first two days, and the Monday, Tuesday, and the singles. Singles. Wednesday, Thursday. And the team event, there is four another event there is your best, I shouldn't listen to my English to say it, because you have to send. And then Thursday, Friday, no, Friday and Saturday, and the kill doubles, Nisa Urgil on Friday, and the mixed doubles on Saturday. How can I mix doubles? Of course, yeah. Nile, I welcome you on the program with less than three, four weeks now to perform as a coach, and who knows, maybe you're. You're also part of the team yeah, this he year. Okay, you could tell us that. So, <laughs> at least we have we have a name. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Nile, um, um, it's your first time competing in, in such games. Mm -hmm. How are you looking at the, at these uh, GSSC? Uh, I've heard obviously so much about it from Ivan and, and others that have played in it before, but. Um, yeah, I think ultimately you get a chance to showcase a sport which isn't sort of in the in the eyes of the masses in Malta. Um, locally, I think it's going to be like amazing just to sort of get that lift, get all the crowd there supporting, um, and just getting them seeing seeing the sport firsthand. Because a lot of locals, even squash players, don't get to watch top level squash here. So I think that's going to be a massive thing just for the week, just for them to constantly see talent and just uh, and yeah, really sort of get an eye for what squash should look like at the top level. Less than four weeks. How is the training going at the moment? Yeah, I literally just just got back from Egypt uh, today. Uh, spent a week there um, training with all their players. There, it's the most dominant country for squash uh, in the world at the moment. So, yeah, you're not going to find a better place to go. But um, yeah, I mean, outside of myself, there's national team training that we do every week uh, with a solid group of eight nine players that are all based in Malta. Um, they're training really well and uh, and yeah, peak at the right time. So four weeks and I think we're going to be ready. And the ones abroad? Yeah, and then we've obviously got, in Australia, we've got the uh, Sultanas, um, we've got Dan Zamit lewis in, in England, um, and also Brad Hindle, who was Brad here Hindle previously who... to me. He's, he coaches the Sultanas, but he's going to be coming out now as well. So, um, But yeah. we've seen Bradley um, uh, in previous years. Yeah, yeah. let's just think now. Yeah. 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 
Ivan, naf li forsi l-lista l-lista uffiċjali tal-atleti għada mhux maħruġa mill-Kumitat Olimpiku Malti għalu għan irrispetta u għana deċizjoni taħħom illi forsi l-ismijiet u mbaħt jimkunu nafuħom, speċalmente kħu għunem xie tibdil. Pero kif semma u kol Nail, l-laħwa sultana s-li għadin l-Australia għanna il-Bredli ġviri. Kif ġejtu għal-konkluzjoni ta' l-Azla u izzar il-li t-lajn? Forsi se dikun hemm min ħajjiħu l-esperjenza tal-logħob? Mela, ovvjament parti from Nile li għat Malta u Daniel Zammit Lewis li għat l-Ingilterra. L-Australia sultana siblings. Sultana siblings. Basically Colette, Lianna and Kian. Training with Brad. Jo club Jo Brisbane. It's in Brisbane, yes. Queensland, yeah. Yeah, in Brisbane. Yeah. And the result that they achieve is amazing. Liana that can take the final to the Australian Junior Open, which is a very, very good event. Colette was with us in the games for the European Team Championships, and she showed that you know she is now. Colette had had the experience to participate in the GSSC last year. Yeah, 2011. Also, she was part of the team. Yes. Um, uh, and and uh, obviously Kian is, is, is uh, he was here for the for the uh, Malt Open, which um, he played with, with Daniel in the finals, mm -hmm. and he won the final over there. Um, uh, so we should be quite quite strong in the in that sector, uh, you know, with, with 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 the whole team. Apart from that, we've got yes, we do have um, two youngsters who are in the team. Um, uh, I can say it because I spoke to Charlene, who also uh, uh, <laughs> the, long, the long list is basically the longest, uh, is, is there. Um, uh, but we have a, a very prospectful young girl, uh, who's Matea Saliba, yeah. who will be... The fact that you're giving this opportunity. It's important. It's important. Yes, yes. For, important. The, for, it's important for to, other to, events. To, to break their, the, first of all, to feel part of a team. Because to feel part of, like in the men's team, that's Julian Sherry also. Um, uh, and uh, and Sam Bonologia, but who won't most probably be coming. But um, these are young people who need to first of all see that they can be part of a strong team. Mm -hmm. I'm saying it in English, so so uh, yes, yes, yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, and and this is what we're building. So, the young ones. So the games are extremely important for us and for Malta. So and for the Maltese Olympic Committee and Sport Malta and the rest. Um, but it's important that we leave something after the games that's that's uh, i mean the coach has been working on the juniors and then they will will keep on working on the juniors because mm -hmm. these are going to be our, our national team exactly. very very close they are already at a very high standard they played in the european team championships both of them and they both won their games and that was already a huge thing for them so mm -hmm. being part of uh, the malta team in in, uh, in these games is we find it very important to introduce young people young to, 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 to Nile, us. and you've been working with these young ones now for months and years mm -hmm. because you've been working with, I mean, like Julian, you've been working with them. Mm -hmm. What are your expectations? And Colette and Kian and uh, Liana, what mm -hmm. are... What, well, I think, I mean, what are to, you looking at in the, in yeah. the GSSC? I mean, we, we got to see a lot of the other countries that are going to be playing in the Small Nations Games at this European event that uh, Ivan was talking about. and. Um, yeah, I mean, we've got, got a great chance in, in every field, really. We, we're, we're very strong in the doubles section. Um, I mean, they're very fortunate to have a doubles court inside their venue in Australia. So they get to play often um, at that, which a lot of countries don't have the opportunity to do. So, um, And also, we've, we're very strong in depth. And, and as Ivan was saying, like in terms of juniors coming through, they're sort of now challenging the sort of four and five of the team. So everyone's just having to push their level higher, um, which is always what we wanted. Uh, we didn't want anyone sort of getting the team easily we wanted it to be a challenge and obviously if there's competition for places it means that we're going to be str like stronger at the bottom of the of the, of the team so um yeah I'm, I'm expecting a lot really i mean we all are i mean but not to put the pressure on the athletes yeah. but it's just we've, we've put a lot of time and energy into this and hopefully that's reflected at the end of the month um at the moment a lot of people are talking about the passports about um for c um maybe at least participating for malta but that are have Maltese. What are what are your views about about this? Does it does it really raise the level? I yeah, mean, I think that there's pros and cons. I think you don't want to um, take away positions from local players that have been born and bred here and, and deserve their opportunity. 
Um, but I think uh, at this stage with squash, I think it's necessary. We, we need to have the better players uh, that are coming in, that are sort of raising the level of the others. Um, but I think ultimately my sort of five, ten year plan it would, would be to sort of have a homegrown team. We wouldn't want to sort of rely on other countries um, to get us through. We want to sort of create mm -hmm. our own sort of hub of, of squash here and, and just showcase the talent of Maltese players. And the fact that we have athletes like Kian Colette and uh, Liana and others that are playing and competing abroad, mm -hmm. does it really give a little yeah. bit more push? Well, yeah. I think uh, the thing is as well, it just sort of showcases for the likes of Matteo and Julian just what, yeah. what opportunities are there. Like, I mean, Colette went to an American college, so you've got the opportunity there if you're really good at squash to get a scholarship. To train and, and to, to Yeah, to, exactly, to, to study train amongst well. your studies and then obviously to go to Australia to compete in a sport that you, you love. I mean... Yeah, that's the great thing about squash, it's so global, you can go anywhere in the world and, and, yeah, and make a base for yourself. So, um, yeah, I think, I think hopefully that, that's what comes across with the, the younger generation, is that this is what can happen, you've just got to really work hard and, and, and get there. You commented here, Kivan, from the athletes who are in Barra, or the athletes who are in the opportunity to study and get out of place to compete in Barra. Mela, jina dejjem kont favur, dejjem nemmen li bix atleta jimpruvja rititla mi Malta. Raġuni, jax jina tiftakar kont direttu telesport ma' nemo si. Dejjem kont nimbotta li l'atleti għak kista jikun iġibu l'esperienza kolla li jista min barra, barra il-players ma' her minna, emek titlef. U jitalmu ikta, it's more professional, I mean, it's more Exposed, they play in big tournaments. You know, Tara, the tournaments that Colette and Liana are taking part in. I mean, they're big. I mean, apart from Nick, they don't know Maltin. But if you know, Maltin is more romantic. Danny Zamet Lewis, an Islander. I mean, these are Maltese passport holders. You know, they're not half Maltese. They're Maltese. بس دار جيمز كيف تفنتي ياتو لي وياو كل ال ال other residents لي لي هدو بارتي so I believe the ek the sport multi in generally immortality of dar games it will help there be a wave of 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 good things coming for that particular sport for the next years to come especially I mean, um, Niall has done a lot of work with ju yes. these juniors, uh, the National Sports School. You see the difference. It's a massive difference. We never had this, this, this kind of, since, since the Sultana siblings and the work at the National Sports School that, uh, that Niall is now doing with the, um, uh, with, with the students over there. It's, it, it's got nice things for the future, in my opinion. Niall, I know that you work a lot with the young ones, as, uh, as Ivan is saying. Do you believe that it's all coming from, from there, from the grassroots. Yeah, yeah, I think so. I think like, it's just so important to get the fundamentals right and to have the right sort of education at the start so you're not getting those bad habits towards the middle sort of end part of your career. But, um, but yeah, I think it, it, ta it takes a lot of work, obviously, to get that community built together. But I think now we're in a really great place, it's predominantly in the, in the girls' game. We've got a lot of uh, young girls coming through that maybe in a few years' time would have competed for places uh, in this GSSE. But... Um, yeah, I'm just really, really proud of, of all the kids that are really committed to playing regularly because you're now starting to sort of reap the fruits of, of the work we put in. Niall, obviously the focus is not just the GSSC. As I mentioned also with, with Gordon, mm -hmm. there are much more um, games after GSSC. There are a lot of international competitions. Mm -hmm. So I'm, I'm sure you are targeting maybe bigger um, yeah. uh, Definitely yeah, for competitions. Sure. I mean, obviously, Commonwealth Games, we're, we're a part of that every four years. So that's our big sort of focus um, whenever it comes around. But yeah, we have these European team events. We have, I mean, the, the better our team is getting, the more established and the, the more sort of opportunities I want to give these players. Um, there's also like a European club championships we could be, be a part of in September. Um, and also events that I want to sort of put on with other countries that we can sort of test ourselves and have these sort of test matches where we sort of go abroad and they come to us. And mm -hmm. um, yes, yeah, so there's a very exciting time for squash here. Um, obviously, National Centre is going to be built yeah. um, anytime soon. So once that's ready, we're going to have like a really nice facility where like six courts so we can just really sort of like capitalise on, on the work that Ivan, myself, Liz, Rob have all put in. Um, and yeah, just really sort of just see it all firsthand, all in one place. 
Ivan Bladubju, il-fatt il li kollok il-post tijak, forsi um, tati inċentifi għibar l-atleti, jonke l-għaldawk li jixti u jibdaw l-sport, yeah. xinti għandek il-post tijak, iġifiri zgur il-li dawnu ma zminijiet interessanti għaċi tanti għalli jikom il-li forsi xidarba u kol naraw il-post tako. Ifi, li dina għolma li dajem kenna, għolma għasir realta, sforta natament għaħba uċiw konstanzi nima knux torta ħat ma mubiċ lesti għal dal games biss għaknu lesti next year għami hopefully we'll have a proper squash center li jista namlu international events kem ridu għanda two double squats full glass back full glass squat ġiviri għadana I mean squash will grow bigger Ivan, mimme ta kont kompetienti għallu mil-ġurnata Tara għabza ta' level fil-skosh u l-popolarita u kol ta' kem n-nis ta' ħarsu lej l-skosh u l-mot ta' kifet ta' ħarsu lej? Mela, nibda mit-2003, għax minem bada jisplodi l-skosh, għar li konna rbaħna, emek konna rbaħna 3 gold and 1 silver, I remember. Min da' kena għallaw, first of all, the level of play of our athletes, ġifiri, our local athletes, has gone up to a different category. Mandoshas, Mujifiri. Because they train more. There's more funding, which is very, very important, and more opportunities for these athletes to be able to be trained by a proper coach, which we didn't have prior to 2003. Musta nuħu xejn bit-team li kelli jina 2003, but it was all done mil-volanta taħna. Iġi li konna nħalzu biex umoru competitions ta' għizbin. The darba, the players are actually helped to compete, helped to get proper coaching. And we want this to stay. I mean, my plea li l-kulħat li involut fil-sport, li mux jista jiġ kun our games u jqaf kollox, li jekenna coach jista jibin, nzom muħom, biex nkomplu għaddejn fil-mixja li bdejna, which is very, 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 very good. Ekko, laħar komment, Ivan, minnaħa tijak, il-lop metta sejn t-labu minnaħa tal-skosh, fejt sej il-labu, għal-jan kan nisi li jedin iseguna, ikunu jafu, fejt saw jieġu biex jaraw l-ti Malta u anka il-ġranet. Yes, mella, basikament, Monday 29th, 29th, Monday, għabel l-opening ceremony, għakina bis singles, u ċuz dhe jukoll, u kena bis-singles finals. Għetna jidu nisa wirġil singles on Monday. Ezzat, edak għajtu u għajtu u Marsa Sports Club, fejħa sirri t-tennis. Fejħa sirri t-tennis. Wednesday and Thursday, se kena bit-team event għal-irġin, u koll il-Marsa, ġi Thursday kena bil-finals. U mbat għanni mxu l-kotonera. U kotonera se jimbena squash court apposta, Double Squash Court, għax ma nix Double Squash Court, għax jen bena posta. U għanna on Friday we have the Doubles Ladies u Doubles Men, all day, basically, ġinna ħħġġa ġilħub il-publik ġiġġa 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 u s-sipt għajkunem il-mix doubles. Nima ġenari ovjament għajkunem il-posts fejn... Yes, there are the seating, the Cotonera Sports Complex, I mean, there's this enough seating at the back fejn kun jistarraw. Lakil kortu mbatt meta minzar maħk kifin bena, kumplas iġdid ħajmu remmek, ġimux ħarġu l-flus ta' xej, għal minn dada sej kum parti min kumplas. Nail, last message to the viewers, also your message to them to come and support. Um, yeah, I think if you've because never... it's imp it's important to have spectators. Oh, for sure, for sure. That's the thing. I think like like how football is with the twelfth man in the crowd. Yes. Like it's uh, yeah. I mean, if you've never seen squash before, then then definitely come down. It's very different to other racket sports. You sort of share the space with another player, so it's like all, all often likened to boxing with rackets or physical chess. Um, but yeah, very physical, like very physical game. You've got to be. So, like tremendously well prepared, like tactically, mentally, technically, tactically. It's just like it covers sort of all bases. Um, and yeah, just a really good watch for, for anyone that hasn't seen it before. Thank you. Last message. Last message. Um, I'd like to thank the, the rest of the committee. Yes, definitely. Um, yeah. uh, and the president, Liz Said, um, yeah, uh, and, and, and Robert Sultana, and us two who are in the committee. Yes. 
It's, it's a lot of, of work, but a lot of work being done, and they, you know, I'd, I'd like to say thank you to them also. Bla dubju. Wara ishtra li kun li kun star ma ikun champers dumna yote ikun am hafna hafna niyesi li. Bla dubju proseti kulha. Dau keno etini disciplina le la 